Hello everyone, welcome back to my career playthrough in Juno New Origins, where I have transformed our previous purple launcher into a purple lander. Remember, it's uh, called purple because we're using a single stage to orbit methane system, and methane tends to burn purple. We still have the red fairing and all, confusing the whole purple thing, but uh, the reason for that being that the black arrow had a red fairing, and so having a red fairing and still calling it some other color is humorous to me, sorry. Uh, but anyway, I have transformed our stage into a lander. This was the previous stage that we had 10 CubeSats on. I made it wider and, oop, I didn't mean to change that. Added uh, landing legs and made the engine a little bit bigger. Uh, so we now have more Delta V to work with, but it's still the intent of the launcher to get it close to orbit and then we'll land on Brigo was our contract. And that's fine, and our height is actually fairly low. We could probably make this tank bigger, but uh, we'll keep it as is for now. And yep, yeah, it'll fit on the small launch pad, and I think we can land on Brigo, which is our currently, which is currently our only contract. Brigo landing, it's about time. And um, Celero orbit is really what I want to do, but we need to make sure that we're at the right time for that, so. We will wait on that. We'll land on on uh, Sol uh, on Brigo first. Time warp to the Solero window and then do Solero. This is Comsat mission. That's 180 days. We'll think about that. That'd be another way to do some extra time warping. Maybe. I mean, we could jump to any craft and do time warping, of course. But okay. Uh, well, can no longer be accepted after 30 days. I'll accept this contract. Mm, must be completed in 90 days. Oh, that's that one. And this one is 30 days too. Okay, so, but first we'll do the Regal landing. Let's just get to it. Alright, let me check staging this time. Last time we had a fiasco. Bearing base, yes, yes. Okay, alright then. Let us go. And village pad, absolutely. Oh, that... Red fairing really glows. <laughs> uh, I meant for it too, it's fine and all, but uh, yeah, it's a serious lipstick fairing. Okay. We're not doing the ComSat mission. I think we'll launch in the morning. Okay, throttle is up and ignition. Oh, we're turning a bit too fast. Then again, we're starting out above sea level, I'm sure. Oh, some of the engines are glowing right now. Okay, but that is dying down. Okay, that's that stage. Fairings. And stage. Should be pretty close to orbit. Um, we seem a bit stuck. This calls for time warping, I think. Oh, uh, this it, it's really stuck. Deploys landing legs. Well, we've got some time. We're getting a bit of drag here, though. Oh, oh, okay, we're free. Gosh. Whoa, 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 don't come back at me. Ah, uh, okay, I don't want that much time. <laughs> oh, because we only have one engine, we need RCS to stop us from rolling. Hopefully we'll have enough RCS at the end. Okay, we're a little bit low here, though. That's it, just a tub lander. Okay, we'll wait now. Okay, alright, well, let's plot for Brigo. Now that's an encounter. We're getting there a bit fast, though. Oh, now we're getting perturbed a lot. It sort of crashes into it there. I don't know what it's reading, but 
That looks like a Brigo strike. That's fine by me, we're trying to land. <laughs> now, of course, we'd like to land in a particular location, probably, but it's a good start, you know. It's a long burn. Okay, ignition. So dark around here. We don't want to hit the atmosphere again, so I'll keep an eye on that periapsis. Well, while it's doing this, let me take a look at the Solero situation. Oh, I didn't lock. Oh, it did lock the thing. Well, I don't know. I don't think it locked it properly. Um, yeah, we're going to have to wait a while before trying to transfer to Solero again. Oh, okay. Well, we can see some sort of approaching approach happening. It's nice of it. <laughs> nice of it to show us that. There's a double encounter or something there. I think those are later encounters that are showing up there. I think we better stop it right there. Maybe the crash was on a later encounter, not the initial one. That looks like the next orbit. Well, that's a strike. Approaching at some inclination will help us hit more targets, so I think we'll leave it there. That's maybe a little bit too close. 884 meters, it says? Twenty-four kilometers seems fine. All right, so we still need to keep charging up and this is not the best orientation for that. Okay, all right. Proceeding to our mid-course correction. Okay, burning. Oh, I probably didn't lock it. Seems like we're coming in pretty darn fast, I have to say. Maybe I've overdone the speed on this thing. We also only have 774 meters per second. I might have made a mistake here. We might be coming in very fast. Well, we got more Brigo flybys and now- oh, don't use the RCS. Uh, and now we've got 10 and extra tech points. I should go to the tech tree again. Well, we're not crashing into it. As far as potential flags are concerned, there's that one there. But we're going too fast. We are not going to be able to land like this. Well, we'll make orbit, but we're not going to have enough to land. But yeah, general thing is getting somewhere too quickly is a very bad thing to do because the amount of delta V you need to slow down, it gets very high. Much higher than you think. Well, we're out of RCS. Well, we made orbit. But as I've already said, we are not going to be able to land. We already got those two flags. Yep, it ends there. Okay, well, that's not great. We'll break things up a little bit. We'll try the commsat mission first and then try to Brigo thing again. This had all sorts of problems. We couldn't even separate properly, I guess, maybe because of the landing legs. Anyway, for the commsat mission, we don't need the landing legs. We can save the current stage. Though we probably want this to be bigger. I'll put 10 kilowatts. Jeez, we keep running out of power. Commsat. 1.23. Oh my god. I don't think... That's a commsat? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think we can use a small pad for this. Hmm, or this launcher, obviously. Right, this is a weird form factor to deal with. 
I mean, I, I know what they're going with here. But... We're gonna have actually a bust section down here and maybe an empty tank for structure just to slap these on. You, you're gonna want some special node and it's not gonna have a node for you. So we're gonna need to put little fuel tanks on the side to provide nodes for you. Please. Well, okay. That's, that's almost the right idea. That is the right idea. That is exactly right. I'm gonna guess that we need to put this in a fairing. Looks like we need a bigger engine here. It's just getting to orbit anyway. What altitude do they want? It's pretty high. So we're gonna need a lot more juice. Well, we're gonna fill the structural tank. I feel like we should go with a denser propellant, so methylox. That's still too long a burn time. Um, I don't think we can swing pressure fed with this. I think we need to go a little bit more expensive here. I don't suppose these uh, solar panels will give us power along the way up, will they? It says 374 kilowatt hours. Hmm. Can we use that or not? <laughs> Shall we make this an electrical one or not? I think electric will be much more efficient. I don't think we're going to need more power. For the time being. Okay, I want Kerbal Space Program players to notice that this is a 1.25 meter tank here. <laughs> the normal starting out thing. Electric again. It'll work. Well, not the 1.96 hours part. Maybe... Maybe we need a different cycle. It's taking too long like this. Okay, so that's pretty good thrust weight ratio at the start. Five kilometers per second altogether seems a little bit low. If we do electric, we need more of them. But it does end up being cheaper overall, I think. Now, if we put a lot of them together, is it going to overheat? Probably, right? Sort of like a Falcon 9, but not really. Thrust weight ratio is not good enough, though. One gas generator and the rest are electric. Well, it sure doesn't provide enough power for them. No, I think we're going to have to have a whole bunch of gas generator ones. Okay, maybe they're poking out too much, I don't know. It gives us a healthy amount from stage 1. Stage 3 still seems to be reading very low. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it's enough Delta V, but... Feels a little bit low. Why is stage 1... 259 in vacuum. Okay, how did that become so bad? Gas generator is that horrible? I don't know, I still sort of pine for the electric engine. Maybe, maybe if we just have one elect huge electric engine, it'll be better. Let me see. But it has to be that big. <laughs> to uh, convincingly get off the ground. And that uh, power usage is 1,316 kilowatts. More than I've ever seen. Hydrolox is better. But, I mean, it doesn't give enough delta V because the tank is so small. Maybe I should just make the tank fatter, but I, I don't think so.
Okay, we'll have to make sure that all of these are right. So, gas generator, mephalox it is. Okay. And that gives us a total... Well, that's surface. A total of 5.5 .5 kilometers per second. Don't know if that's quite enough for the high orbit they're looking for. I think we can't make it 1.25 meters in diameter. I think we're gonna have to make it wider. Well, now we have more delta V. Let's hope it was worth it. It's costing nearly 10 million, which at least the contract pays for, but not if we have to redo it. These engines are a gas generator, so we don't have to worry about the power thing. Okay, let's try it out. This is obviously not gonna fit on the village pad. Um, Ali pad it is. I think that's the cheapest one. So it's getting real close for, I mean, the contract might not be paying too much extra here. But at least we'll get some progress. I thought the big money was in the commsat launches, but oh well. No, this is the right craft you. All right, throttle is up, and st stability assist is on, and RCS is off, and launch. Lots of smoke. Red fairing is red. Positively glowing today. stay low then get up to the apoapsis and then get the periapsis oh let's throw down here getting hot and we're getting too high anyway may I overdid it on the Delta V okay well uh, hopefully it's fairings <laughs> Okay, any more in juice? No. Okay. Stage set. Uh, I hope it's all nice and free this time. I can't see. Okay, looks good. Well, we'll wait until apoapsis. Or maybe we should just boost up to the apoapsis that- our target apoapsis now. Let's just fire it. Can't see it or anything though. Okay, a little bit higher. That will go. How's the power? Well, power's fine. I think the commsat should have overwhelming power. Okay, this is an occasion for RCS. Okay, ignition. Okay. Well, they like that orbit anyway. Detached commsats. Off they go. Well, that's a lot of sound from them. They're all extending their solar panels simultaneously. Okay, but we'll deorbit this stage, I think. Firing. Yes, let's get away from that sound. Plenty of Delta V in here. And that should be on a crash course. Alright, in flight, safe flight. Okay, well, no more of those big ones. It's down to small sats and cube sats. Anyway, let's focus on the Brigo landing. But we've got a Brigo flyby. I guess we should pick that up. Uh, is there a time when they're not going to give us those Regal flyby ones? Oh well. Anyway. Every little bit counts, I suppose. Let's uh, rework the lander just a little bit. Okay, so the main problem last time was mainly that we arrived at Regal too quickly. I think the whole system could have done the trick, but I've decided to widen this tank out at the top a bit. And so that'll give us a little bit more fuel. I added an extra engine down here to compensate so that we still have good thrust weight ratio. And I've sort of tapered the whole fairing a little bit differently. 
Uh, because we had problems getting caught on the inner stage, I've decided to tuck the landing legs down here instead of on the side. And so now they extend like that. I uh, increase the deployed angle. So yeah, maybe even 45 degrees. Let's do 45 degrees. Would be better. And so let me put that there. Let me just make sure nothing seems to be poking out. So let's check staging. We don't have any payloads as such, but that is what I want. Let's try it again. Let's see if we get a better deal as far as a transfer is concerned. But of course, we'll probably need an off-plane transfer because of the inclination and all. So it's a little bit tricky. Village pad and go. Okay, nav ball stability, RCS off, throttle up, and launch. Oh, uh, this, oh shoot, uh, yes, um, well, we, we didn't start grounded, sorry, sorry. I will, uh, retry, start off again, that's just a contract thing. Okay, this one, please. All right, once again, throttle up, nav ball, stability, and RCS off, and launch. Still the best launch site because of the mountains. I've gone for a somewhat steeper trajectory this time. Oh, it is still taking heat. Okay, well, okay, periapsis just shy of orbit. Okay, that's good enough. Well, I guess I'll eyeball our orbit to see where the likely ascending and descending node are going to be. Oh, it seems like we're pretty close to it over here. I actually want this on the next orbit. This time we're going to have to pay attention to that uh, approach speed if it's going to show it to us. 781. See, that's better. Last time it was just too fast. Now, how do I tell it I want it on the next orbit, not this one? Well, we'll try that. Scooch it over. I don't trust that approach info much. Uh, it should have changed the distance. We're still approaching too quickly there, I think. But we'll we'll try it. Uh, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong, and it's just not my day for Brigo or something. Uh, but we'll try it. And ignition. Please encounter it. Uh. Okay. I'll take that and we'll do a mid-course correction. Uh, that's looking pretty close, actually. Oh, uh, that's 67.1 kilometers. You know what? No mid-course correction necessary. I think. Well, let's turn up that sensitivity. Okay, well, that looks like an orbit, at least. 332, so that's not too bad. Got an invisible Brigo here. So that's 500 to make orbit, and we've got 1.13 kilometers per second, so about 600 to land. Okay, well, let's uh, proceed. Let's make sure we are somewhat recharging. I guess that's good enough for now. Oh yeah, we go flyby contract. We did do that. Still going to be tough to land, we'll see. Not a lot of margin. Let's get rid of that, it's complicating things. Um, well, we'll start from up there and sort of 
slam into the surface, maybe? <laughs> yeah, we're already well past periapsis anyway. I wanted to land at a particular location, but I think our Delta V situation is a bit too desperate right now. Well, yep, yeah, so we're smacking into the surface right there. We're gonna have to retro burn with great efficiency. We've got 712 meters per second right now. Stage time is 1.7 minutes. What is it about Brigo today? I think, look at that, the overall speed, what is the surface speed? 700 and we've got 712. Right. Dump some RCS while we're here. Above ground level would be handy. Ooh, that's not great. Well, that's all the RCS. But I don't intend to shut down the engine, so. That looks like a lot of edges right there. Uh, we don't have much meters per second. Uh, uh, oop. Okay, but, but, hold on. <laughs> we have litho braked. We are gonna hold for 30 seconds. Oh, uh, it's still rolling though. It's rolling. But it counts as touching down safely and holding for 30 seconds. Okay, we did that. <laughs> we we totally did that. Okay, now, now that we're here, <laughs> I'm going to time warp to the Solero window. Safely, safely on the surface with no other contracts pending. Well, just eyeballing it, that looks good enough for me. Well, it stayed nice on the surface though it's dark right now. Let's go back in flight. Safe flight. And is that contract still there? Not really. We're at the slow window, but we don't have the slow contract. But you know what? Maybe we should just send a Solero mission to land on Solero. I don't know, I'll think about that. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.